everybody. I'm gonna try some more cool stuff on the sous vide today. This time we're going to be making chocolate chip cookies. We're going to use five half pint jars. What we need is three ounces of softened butter and two thirds of a cup of packed brown sugar. I'll attach the recipe in the description box so if you want to make these you can go there. The biggest thing about this recipe seems to be that you have to beat it a lot. We're going to combine the butter and sugar in our sand mixer and then we're going to beat it on medium high speed for three to five minutes until it's fluffy. All right, after the five minutes of beating and scraping with the spatula, it's pretty light and fluffy, which is good. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the egg and then the two teaspoons of vanilla and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna beat it for three to five minutes until it's really light and fluffy. So we're gonna beat in the egg and then we're gonna add the vanilla. And it takes two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, so after our three minutes of beating, it's super light and fluffy. So we're gonna take it off the stand mixer now and then we're gonna add the dry ingredients and the chocolate chips. So here's our super fluffy mixture. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna add in the dry ingredients, which is a cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna quickly mix those together. So it says, gently fold in the flour until just combined. So we don't want to lose our fluffiness. So we're just going to gently fold in our flour. And the next step is to put in one cup of chocolate chips. And fold them in as well. Once you're done folding in the chocolate chips, we're going to take our five pre-greased jars and divide the, jo the dough evenly and making sure no jar is over half full. If you get them too full, they will explode in the sous vide. It's not pretty. So once they're in the jars, with the cookies we're going to take a greased spoon or a greased finger and we're just going to push them down. And you can see, about half full, perfect. We're going to wipe off the sides and the tops of the jars with a wet towel. Then we're going to place the lids and the bands on the jars. And we're going to tighten them just the same finger tight that we always do for the sous vide jars. So there are our five cookie jars. We're going to put those in the sous vide bath at 195 Fahrenheit for three hours and then we'll come back. All right, so the jars are still floating in the water, in the water bath. And I'm going to just fetch them out. I use dishwashing gloves to do that. And once they're out, we carefully take the lids off. And there we go. So we leave these until they're room temperature. <laughs> That's my helper. Then we'll take one out. Our cookies are now room temperature. I honestly expected them to rise a little more than this, so I'm not sure what we're going to end up with, honestly. I expected them to try and fill the jars, and they're still only about half full. These could be some really thick cookies. What you're supposed to do is run your knife around the inside of the jar, have the cookie fall out, and then put them in the fridge. It says that they slice best if they're chilled. They don't look bad. They don't smell bad. They smell really good, so we will see. Alright, so there they are. 
I'm going to stick a tin foil over the top, pop them in the fridge, and we'll come back when we slice them. Okay, so once they've had a little while in the fridge to get cold, then you just slice them into quarter inch thick slices, or however thick you like them. I can tell these ones have been out for a minute or two and they're starting to warm up, so they're kind of falling apart as I slice them, but uh, they're not bad as cookies. I would say that this is probably a fail for us, just as the recipe stands. Nobody that tried them really liked them too much, so we wouldn't probably make them again just the way that they are. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We do lots of cooking, we do crafts, we do chickens, you name it, we do that kind of stuff. So we'll see y'all later. Have a good day.